Well, good morning and welcome to another video on the channel. Now, today I'm at Watmore Farm fishing with Steve, a passionate piscator, just for the day. It's a lovely looking lake. Very match type, lots and lots of swims. I've got some nice reeds in the corner, which is where I'm going to be float fishing. Yeah, let's get the kit set up and see what we can catch. So today, two lines of attack. We're going with a, an inline little feeder, little flatbed feeder. One of the rules are here that they can't be fixed. So that is on a little, just got a little quick change bead at the bottom there. And then it slides up the line. Probably gonna put either a pellet or a little trim down boilie on that one and just chuck that one out. The only awkward thing is you're not allowed to put any sticks in the actual peg itself so my alarms I don't know where are they <laughs> all the way over there so not ideal so I'm gonna get this one out and then get the plum uh, float plumbed up just in the edge here for roach really and perch not carp and then uh, yeah we'll see what we can catch it's a nice day it's just a bit too hot for me but Got to be in it to win it. for the first fish. Hopefully there's a few bigger down there. Oh, it went back in. Must admit, it's been constant bites. Literally, as soon as the float goes in, it goes under. So I assume there's a hell of a lot of small fish in here, which could be a problem, but it's just nice to get a few bites. So let's uh, keep the maggots going in. And put it back out. Well, this is what we came for. Just a bit smaller than I wanted. Ooh. Absolutely beautiful little fish. The slipper bag. Oh, definitely had a whiff of bream about it, that one. Ooh.
<laughs> he wasn't hanging about. Well, that's a few fish in very quick succession. But you can see how today may go. If there's a hell of a lot of these small fish, then may struggle to get through to the bigger ones. But we'll persist, hopefully they'll turn up at some point. If not, I'm quite happy catching these. At least it's a fish. Slightly bigger perch. Got a leech on his head. You can see that. Yeah, beautiful little fish. Made a slight tactical change. I noticed that when I'm throwing out the maggots, none of them are getting to the bottom. They're boiling on the surface and taking them. So I shallowed the float up to only a foot deep. But I wasn't expecting a perch, I was expecting a rudd. It's literally a case of firing through maggots out, dropping the float over the top, and you're in. And they seem to be slightly bigger fish. There we go. Oh, bloody hell. Sorry, a big red kite just come flying down in front of me there. There we are. Let me see a red. Pinch of maggots. float, tighten the line, realise you're around a stem, there we go, oh, it takes an instant, and because you're up in the water, they're quite violent. but not always the easiest to hook. There we go. Yes, here we go. Oh. It was a perch. Not what I'm expecting up in the water, really. Absolutely beautiful. Shimmering in the sun. Don't mind that one bit. Well, the old sleeper rod's been uh, sleeping well so far. To be fair, that's only there for a, a bonus fish. This is what I'm here for, the roach and rudd. And perch. This could be a netter. Yeah, we'll get the net out. Not a huge fish, but 
I'm using very light line. She's just going to come over to your swim. Oh, really? And bring my, uh, bring my That's something right. over. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's definitely got a bit of bream about him, this one. That is slimy. <laughs> Let's have a bit of grub. Oh, yeah, I'll swap one with one of mine. changed the feeder over to a plastic caster as I had nothing on the boiling at all so we'll give that a little while see what happens just fed the margins with some ground paint try and get a bit of a bed down on the bottom as any maggots that I put in or little pellets are just being destroyed by the rud then we'll continue see if anything bigger comes along really I mean, it's been alright, I've had a fair few fish already. But it'd be nice to get something a little bit bigger. Well, a bit of a random day today. My wife called me um, a little while ago to say that something's wrong with the dog. She's really not well, she won't open her eyes, and she's walking backwards. I mean, she's a pug, so she does silly things normally anyway. But even for her, this was weird. So, sadly, on a bank holiday, we had to... Uh, rush her to the emergency vets and yeah she's got just something wrong with her with her eye but we've got a lot of treatment now so hopefully she'll be fine so I have to cut my fishing short for the moment I'm just at the shop just going to grab some drinks and then I will head back to the lake and carry on fishing she is she's not happy she never looks happy she's a pug but let's get back to the lake and get some fishing on Now, Watmore Farm is an old gravel pit. It's uh, very, very deep in the middle and sort of shallower in the, uh, in around the margins. Now, Watmore Farm has a decent amount of species. We've got big carp, carp to over 30 pound, I believe. Uh, roach, over two pound, rudd, perch, bream, tench. It's well known for its roach fishing, especially in the winter. Now, Watmore is in Ebbersley, which is near Hook, set in beautiful, beautiful countryside. Now the facilities here are perfectly acceptable. You have a portaloo in the car park for if you're fishing up this end. And there's also a nice toilet at the end of the stables on the other side, catered for well on the toilet front. The day tickets at this time of year are 15 pound for two rods. So, good tactics. Well, the usual carp tactics, solid bags, etc. All work well here for the carp. Feeder fishing as well, using a, either a normal cage feeder or flatbed feeder. Fishing float in the margin will get you your roach and your perch. Anything really. I think it's all good. Just bear in mind, obviously, it's a very deep lake. It's about three and a half, four foot in the margins right in front of the reeds anyway so just tackle up sensibly knowing that there could be bigger fish around the swim now as you can see by the amount of cars in the car park it does get very busy up here so getting here early is definitely recommended back on the bottom on the float whilst having the feeder out on the alarm 
put some pellets and ground bait out before I left. So let's see if there's anything down there. Just getting the float set just right. That'll do, pig. That'll do. A few more pellets. A few maggots, but they probably won't reach the bottom. Let's just watch. No. <laughs> You can see all the silver flashes when you chuck maggots in. But if this doesn't work, I'll get a few of those as well. The plan is, if the feeder rod on the alarm starts to get a few bites, then I'll switch that over to a quiver tip. It's a bit more fun when it's, uh, when it's when you fish a quiver tip rather than on the alarms, I think. Lovely little roach. I was just getting a bite on the uh, feeder rod as I was reeling that one in. It seems to have stopped. Right, maggots looking all right. are just getting destroyed. I just don't think they're big enough to quite take the hook. It's still definitely sharp enough. I'm going to change over to a little soft hook, hooker pellet. See if that will make a difference. There we go. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> that one was a little bit bigger that managed to disgorge itself and jump off. Right, so I'll keep with the pellet for a minute and just see if anything bigger comes along. I think I'm going to recast the feeder rod. It seems when that goes in, when it's got a fresh amount of feeder uh, bait around it, you get a few knocks. As soon as that's gone, then you can get nothing. So I'm going to redo that and then carry on with the float. Right, <laughs> now I've got the, uh, the hoodie off, and it's still bloody hot now. Sun cream is a must. <sighs> Some good old Factor 50. <sighs> it's just not worth the risk. I think we'll give it another 15, 20 minutes on the float. I'm gonna get the feeder out, I think, quiver tip. Give that a go. That's all very quiet on the western front. Had a couple of nibbles on the feeder, but that's it. Just 
trying to set it up, it's a bit of a pain. You can't have any bank sticks. So I've got my feeder arm attached to my chair, but it's just getting it in the right place. It's becoming a bit of a pain in the butt. It's that time of day though, that awkward, warm, or really warm, middle of the day, which I think it's about, I don't know what time it is, between two, three o'clock, something like that. It seems to be a thing at most places, they just kind of shut down a bit. Now, if I put a float back on and went back in the margins, I know I could get a few because I'm just feeding the margins just now. And it was all the roach, rudd and perch. I'm trying to catch something else, something a bit bigger. Whether it be a bream or a carp or a tench. Nothing yet. But we'll keep trying. Pretty sure it's a bream. Not powerful enough for a car. In fact, it's not even a bream, it's a roach. <laughs> and it fell off. Would you believe it? To be fair, it was nothing huge. Similar sort of size to the ones I was catching earlier, so. Let's stick it back out for a bit longer. Then go back on the float. There we are. <laughs> She's a wriggly fella. That made no sense, she's a wriggly fella. <laughs> there we are. Lovely little fish. Let's see if we can get some more. I'm now watching carp violently whacking these reeds. Trying to lower a bait right in front of them. In doing so, I have hooked the reeds. It's okay, we're good. I think we can get the hook back. God, the carp are absolutely ravenous. I can't get a bait to them because of all the roach. Another beautiful little rope. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Splash me. Lovely little fish. A little bit bigger. Absolutely beautiful. Let's slip her back. Okay, becoming a little bit infatuated by trying to catch this carp. It's a really nice fish. 
And if I could use bread on the surface, I reckon I could catch them in less than a minute. But there's no surface fishing. So I've baited a mark, baited right out in front of me, literally three feet from the bank. And I keep dropping the, uh, the float on top of it and catching a rudder, or a roach, sorry. But he's there now. Give up trying to catch the calf and just carry on fishing. Stunning. Still plenty of roach down there, that's for sure. Okay, for the last half hour or so, I'm gonna give the old feeder a go again. But now that I remember I've actually got it going to go with a plastic claw. It's a great bait for most things bar the perch that's swimming in. Let's see if we can get something on that. Oh, I think I may have hooked my first carp. I don't think it's very big, but... I was using it on a quiver tip for ages without a single bloody bite. So I thought, I can't be bothered to change the tip, so I just chucked the feeder rod back on the alarm. And thought, I'll have a go with the, go with the float for the last half an hour or so. And as soon as I did, off it rattled. Exactly the same bait I've been using for the last half an hour or so. Did have it next to my feet for a moment. <laughs> Ripped off. Doesn't feel very heavy. I think it's just got some anger management issues. Just go round and round in circles now. Yeah, a little mirror carp. Nothing big. Very, very welcome. If I can get it in. Christ, what does he feed them on? A pure steroids. Come on, no. Don't lose any weeds. Oh, he wants to go that way. Catch a few of these a day, you know about it, that's for sure. There we go. I think we're good. I think we're good. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Yes. Lovely jubbly. Here he is. Absolutely stunning miracle. We had a long time for this one. Absolutely beautiful. Let's slip her back. Well, that's all we've got time for today. It's been an absolutely brilliant session. Really, really good. Um, loads of fish, loads of roach, rudd, perch, and obviously the bonus carp. And I've actually just lost one. 
which is why I've decided to call it a day. We're nearly, nearly close in time anyway. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video and the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one.